Welcome back to Let's Play The Messenger. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, this is just past that smashy wall I disliked so greatly. We're here in the sunken ruins, and there is a power seal to my right. Fortunately, I have the power to walk on water as long as I don't turn around. Uh... Yeah! Or stop. Booyah! You'd best believe! Something up from here? Oh, right. Ahem! <clears throat> I believe the Flash can uh, move so fast he runs on water without breaking the surface tension. I hadn't heard that about ninjas. Oh, no one's in here. Uh, yeah, I had not heard that ninjas were capable of this. I really like that noise the, the Naga there make when they die. I don't even know what to say, but that, that was just sad. Let's do it again. <laughs> oh, jeez. Stop it! Oh! See what you did there? The third one doesn't kill himself, so you get caught off guard. They're still made of glass, my good dude. Oh, I see. Uh, uh. No. Oh, right, I could have just... Fuck. Oh, right. The flooding. I forgot about the flooding. It's 500 years worth of flooding over there. Hey! Thanks! What's up? You know the weird thing is? The thing that occurred to me a while back? It's that... Okay! The pillars in the past, and the open passage in the future, that I get! All of these places I've been to seem to be crumbling apart. But when there's pillars in the future and not in the past, that suggests to me... ...that a fucking stonemason has come into these ruins in the last 500 years... ...and put up new walls! Oh, it can't go that way. Oh, I see. No. Kind of hoping for help. Continue climbing, guy. It will be great. Yes, all the way to the ceiling. Just hang out here and just be Spider-Man for a while. 
Oh, you're not a door. You got the croissant! I mean, the, uh, the moon crest! Maybe it has something to do with a locked door with two sockets in the sunken shrine. I mean, I'm in the sunken shrine, but I know the one you're talking about, unfortunately. is in place, but another socket is empty. <clears throat> Mooncrest! Looks like I'm gonna send her to the locked door with two sockets and a sunken shrine. What this crazy shit I've got. Yeah! I feel like this is a good one to uh, get last, personally. I mean, yes, it's at the top of the thing, and it's the most expensive upgrade, but... It does feel really, really powerful, and if it wasn't the last upgrade, I would probably call it OP. Okay, I guess I go down this side, then. I've always been more of a nighttime guy myself, but, uh, I'll get the sun crest if I need to. Oh, Jesus. Huh. I just realized I didn't get that, uh... Oh. Oh, I see. I need to come up from another direction? I don't know. I've been thinking about that room with all the, uh, the shards and the health in it, and I don't actually need any of those things anymore, but, you know. I guess I need to come up from below in order to be there. It even closed off the one I already got into. that when you're boosting like that, you don't lose any height. Oh. Oh! I was actually supposed to do this, wasn't I? It's one of those. I have to make it so that I become uh, old-timey when I go through here. Yeah! Nice! I solved a puzzle by accident. Oh, Jesus! up here. Nice! Oops. check to see if I needed to come back to 8-bit, come to think of it. Oh.
No! God damn it. Ah, uh, I forgot I was out of points. I wanted to wait until they lined up perfectly at the last possible moment and then get all three of them with a shuriken. Oh. Nope. Yes! Mmm! I'm here now. Sorry about that. Let's see. Now. Oh. Just out of curiosity. Oh, okay. Yeah, fine. And nothing to cloud step off of easily. That explains why there are shark dogs. That way, that looks like doom. Not the franchise, the term, I'm just saying. Okay, not a boss room. Odd. Watch out! Actually, wait, let me try something. Oh, right. You can't just keep running against the wall because you grapple as soon as you touch the wall. Hell yeah. Of all the things I have worked out over the course of this game, I would have to say that uh, cloud stepping is easily my uh, proudest given how terrible I was at it when I started. Nice! Ah! Right, yeah, that. Okay, fine. There's no point of this except for revenge, so I'm just gonna go kill you all. Oh, hey, it does actually lead somewhere. Neat! Not do a challenge, but okay. I'll go take a look. Well, this seems poor spirited, but alright. Thank you, door. That's the room before the boss chamber. So we're to the antechamber. The room before an Im important room is called an antechamber. That's not a, uh... Room it. Oh, God damn it! I wasn't paying attention. It's again. I don't know why I did that twice. Now I looked at this. This is not like one of the standard doors, or even one of the doors that I only find in this region. This is just an altar with a thing on it. It's just these two pillars here, I guess. All right, give me the orange one. You got the sun crest. Maybe it has something to do with a locked door with one socket and the sunken shrine. Satisfaction.
No, I can't break that thing in the middle. Up here! Yes! Good! Oh, of course, this is the antechamber, isn't it? This is where we're supposed to be going in the first place. Doi! I put the orange one in place. Like, it just, it's just a giant face. Oh, thanks for opening that for me. It's really stuffy in here. I did notice the uh, orange and uh, blue lighting theme. Oh. Welcome, adventurer. You must be weary. Allow the sanctity of this place to mend your wounds and invigorate your spirit. We are proud of all you could achieve on your own. What is this place? This shrine and its history matter little now. A tragic, a tragic fate has befallen this world indeed. Eons ago, we were its guardians. Are you gods? Some would say that. As the roots of wisdom grew more distant with each passing generation, humans took their security for granted and set faith aside. Devoid of worshippers, our power slowly faded. Your world was a vibrant sight before the Flood. Then, as fate would have it, a powerful curse befell its only remaining piece of land. Guardians? How long ago was this? The implications of our story would make little sense to denizens of a fallen world. A fallen world? Your world, its connection to the stars, has long been severed. Increasingly helpless in the face of its impending doom, we crystallized the last of our energy, so that when the time came, it could support humanity's final hope. That final hope, messenger, is you. Nice. As we have, as we have since the day you were born, we will be watching over you. Now receive our final gift to the world. You got the key of love! Aww. Left by gods, long forgotten, to be found at the time of greatest need, it is one of the notes needed to create a melody that will break the curse. Thank you. And, uh, take care. Achievement unlocked, Sun and Moon. Receive the key of love. Feels good. You know, I knew that this is the only island left with humans on it. I didn't realize it was literally the only spot of land left above the water. I return. I like that. That each of them is created from a thing. A force, a feeling, something. I think that's quite beautiful. As fate would beautifully have it, only by- I know this one. Only by creating a melody from the crystallized forces of this world can the curse be broken. To complete the melody, we still need three music notes. I wonder which one they had to begin with. Or wasn't it two, the ones at the edges? I wonder what those are meant to be. Ketchup and Baja Blast. That's what those are. <laughs> Create 
created by the force of one man's irrational love of ketchup. Arg. Oh, are you interested in my tools? I can show you my collection if you want. Maybe some other time. Do you happen to have a money wrench? Of course, it's my favorite tool. Can I borrow it? Oh, I don't know about that. I really like having it here. Come on, it's the only way to unclog the money sink. Money sink? I thought it had been destroyed during the raid! Could he be alive? Huh. That seems like an oddly specific number. <laughs> Hmm, I can't imagine why you would have picked 2,383 time shards. It's my favorite tool. I won't negotiate. Do you want to buy my money wrench for 2,383 time shards? Okay, fine. I wasn't spending them on anything anyway. Okay, there you go. You got the money wrench! Time to do some plumbing work. If I talk to the guy, I can replay the uh, Tower of Time. Is that? Yeah, that is an egg chair. Nice. Uh, it's not actually here. Okay, then. Uh, before I bring it back to the store, I'll uh, call it an episode here, because the timer did go. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play The Messenger when we continue our quest to save this cursed world and make the future a better place for everyone. Later!